Welcome back everybody to the channel. Welcome back to Medieval Dynasty. There is a new update and it's a pretty big update. Honestly, uh, it's a pretty big update. Just letting everybody get through the, the ad here at the start of the stream. I know that that happens. Uh, luckily though, you don't have to watch like 10 minutes of ads like some other places. Uh, so first things first, there's now a photo mode. Um, what is it? You hit P. What is it? H. No, what is it? There's a, there's a button for photo mode. Oh, you just go to the menu. Just go to the menu, you can go into photo mode. Uh, very, very cool update. I think that this game is perfect for having uh, a photo mode because you can do lots of different things here. So you can you can narrow and widen the view, right? Uh, the the this, this part needs a little bit of work because it's still kind of iffy. Uh, you can rotate the camera. Fully around both ways. Yeah, see, it's still a little bit tricky, but uh, it works. My mouse is going like way off the screen to get this to work. So there you go. You rotate the camera. Bring that back around. A solid zero. Uh, hide character, which is very cool. You can hide the character. Which is how I took the uh, the thumbnail for this video, by the way. Uh, and then you can go to free cam, uh, or you can go focus on player free camera. Uh, very very cool. So we're gonna hide character, and then we're gonna hit H. And we're gonna do away with uh, oh sorry, enter camera mode. There we go. And then we're gonna hit H to hide the UI. And check this out. You can actually see what my village looks like from the top. This actually looks way better than I thought it did from the top. Check that out. And of course, it's not rendering villages that are way off in the distance, but still, you get the idea here. Uh, man, doesn't that look cool? This looks like way more like a medieval village now that I've now that I've flown up here and, and looked. Uh, there is seems to be a range uh, that you can go, so you got like a bubble around you. The lower you are, maybe, the further out you can go. It kind of seems that way, yeah, because once I go up, right, like, this is max height, but you see me being pushed back toward where my character was standing? Yeah, I can go further to the center here. I'm still being pushed back over the top of my character. So you got, like, a bubble you can go into, but that's very cool, though. Uh, and this actually looks way better than I thought it did. Honestly. From up top. That looks so stinking cool. Uh, I am super, super impressed with this this update, this patch. This is, this is, yeah, this is something that I think there are people that have some crazy builds. Like, my builds are mediocre at best. Uh, there are people that have some crazy builds in this game, and I think this right here is going to let people take some amazing photos. Uh, I think it's gonna let people take some amazing photos because my, my village is mediocre at best, right? Like there are people that have gone like full out decorations on everything. Uh, just a super, super awesome quality of life update here uh, with photo mode. Uh, I quite like it myself. And then I said escape to go back, uh, to go back down here. But man, what a cool, what a cool thing that is. Uh, let's go uh, back into photo mode for a second. There's other options here you can do too. So there's lens settings. You can do zoomed. Which is another really, really cool feature. Cool feature, because you could you could hide player, right? How do we hide player? There we go. And then you can zoom in. So then you can go here and you can do 16 by 9 film. You can do micro four thirds, full frame, APS, IMAX. 35 millimeter Vista, full Academy, the full aperture, and then Academy, and the super 35 mil, super 16, super 8 millimeter. Uh, there is a lot of 16 by 9 digital film. Again, there's a lot of settings here. We go to default, and then we can really see the difference here on what we're looking at. Uh, full frame DLS DSLR. That is a really cool shot, which is our, our stock, right? That's our. Our first one. Let's see what the uh, Super 8 looks like. Look at that. Look how good that there's a mushroom right there under that bush. I didn't see that mushroom before. See, without this, I never would have saw it. 
All right, let's go back out to full frame here, uh, full DSLR. All right, then we can go uh, brightness and exposure, so we can, you know, you can you can change things if it's dark out and you want to make it brighter. Uh, you can do the exposure, which is always nice, of course, because you can change um, how well it's picking up everything, which is always good. And then saturation, you can do black and white photos. God, can you imagine the amount of photos you're going to get out of this uh, by lots of people, really? Uh, and then you can run that saturation all the way up, make everything really, really vibrant. That green really pops out, which is, again, what I did with my thumbnail. This is basically what I did with the thumbnail. Um, and then we can run that back down to just the old standard one. And if we click on it, we actually have arrows. So you can do like pinpoint, pinpoint accuracy of what you want. Uh, colorize. So if we go effect one, effect two, effect three, four, five, six, seven. The, the, I, the fact that they even put this in here is kind of cool, but the fact that they give us this, right? Look at that. Like that is, that is pretty wild looking, right? That's pretty wild looking. Effect 10, effect 11. So it kind of presets some stuff for you. Uh, 14, I guess, is black and white. That's more of a black and white. There was one that seemed very black and white a second ago. Uh, that's definitely more of a bla old black and white camera there, though. Oh, negative. Okay. Ah, there it is. 19. That's the black and white. Yeah, so they give you some standards. Uh, what what is this called? This is, so some people that are familiar with photography. What is this called? This is a certain type of filter, and I can never remember what it is. Uh, effect twenty one, twenty two, twenty three. There's so many of these. They give you so many presets you can do, um, and and just kind of run with. Oh, oh wow. Okay, that was a lot. Uh, effect thirty two, effect thirty three. Yeah, look at the the shading of green there. A negative filter, maybe. Yeah, I was thinking negative, uh, but I could be wrong. So uh, I probably, most of the time I am wrong anyway. Uh, and then we get into the really bright colors and then we're back to the fault. So if we go flip this way, uh, you get into all your, your colored, uh, your color uh, filters. So uh, I'm going to assume there's going to be some people that do some really cool stuff with this. You can also change the intensity of it too. I, I should have pointed that out, I guess. Uh, so we can just take it down. So you just have like a, a light hue, right? Like, that's pretty crazy. Again, the fact that this is even in the game is pretty wild. Uh, this makes me pretty excited to see some new photos, uh, to be honest with you, because it's just, just very, very cool. Uh, and then if we do, again, if you hit C uh, to go into camera mode, camera up and down, you can see exit camera, hide UI, take photos, so you can just hit F. Uh, but we want to hide that, and then we want to hit F. So there we go. Save to uh, medieval documents. There you go. Cool. Uh, or you can just hit F12 if you're on Steam, and uh, it'll take and put it in the Steam Steam um, screenshots. So very cool. Very very neat. I'm gonna tab out for a quick second here while we're just taking a look out across the uh, the world. There we're gonna read over this update. I think this is in the test build too. I think I'm still in the test build here. Let's see where is the latest. I just want the latest update information. Come on now. Why is this so difficult? Don't be so difficult. Uh, here we go. Uh, so public stage added photo mode, which we just checked out. New gameplay customization fast build, which I have ticked. Uh, allow a single hammer hit to instantly fill modules with all desired resources if they are present in the inventory. Uh, so that's just like, just like Wild West. Now we've got a fast build here too, which is great. Uh, the wind and rain attenuation and reverb in buildings depends on the number of walls, roofs the building has, and own used materials. So uh, if you have a thatch roof, right, that's a small roof, you're going to get different sounds than if you have the wood slab roofs, roofs like we have on our buildings here. You're going to get a different sound out of it. That's kind of neat. Bedtime sounds for NPCs and the player, cool. Uh, all pickable items now have their own unique sounds for picking from the ground. So every, every pickable item... If you pick up a stick, it's going to sound different than picking up a rock. Very, very cool. A uh, new sound for consuming edible items, berries, plums, cabbage, honeycomb, raw egg, cork, rot, meat, fish, mushrooms, tarts, and pies. I don't know why somebody would want to eat rot, but okay. Uh, footstep sounds for uh, Dolby Atmos setup. Uh, okay. Uh, and then they fixed a whole lot of stuff. 
and then they updated some other stuff. So the updates are pretty important because it's memory use optimizations, rendering optimizations, system optimizations, optimized NPCs, tweaked NPC movement, optimized animals, tweak animal movement, improved, uh, improved and optimized animal ragdolls. In an orchard, the middle uh, section is cleared, not the entire area. Increase craft more by scheme input. Uh, okay. What that, I don't know what that means. Exactly. Uh, numerous UI uh, improvements, main menu inputs, icons. New on hover behavior in various menus. Sounds for changing weapons and tools. A lot of optimized and mixed audio. Increased the quality of many textures. Goose walking animations and speed. Crouching animations. Improved for current dialogues and sounds. Uh, all languages updated. And that's pretty much it. Uh, that's a really, really, really nice quality of life update here from uh, from uh, Render Cube and from Toplitz there. Uh, great. It's the most immersive surround sound you've ever experienced? That's crazy, man. I've never played with Atmos. I have no idea. Um, but I want to hear some of these different... Let's go find a stone to pick up. Where is the stone? Speaking of that, uh, if you've never seen the movie Snatch and you have YouTube Premium, it is free on YouTube Premium right now. It's a slightly different sound. It's not very loud, but like you guys may not be able to hear that. I didn't even hear that. Okay. It is a slightly low sound. Picking the picking the stuff up seems to be slightly low. Uh, but either way, yeah, let me know what your favorite com uh, in the f let me let me try this again. Let me know what your favorite update is in the comments down below. Uh, leave me a comment. Let me know if you're in live chat. Let's hear it. What do you guys think about the photo mode? What do you guys think about the uh, the kind of quality of life updates we've gotten here? I like it. I think this is a great update. How's everybody doing in live chat, by the way? I hope you're doing well. Celtic Moon, Wick, how's it going? Jonathan, how's it going? Spiderette, how are you? Karsten, good to see you. Gabe, what's up, buddy, of course. Crystal, how are you? Good to see you. Hope the devs from the other Dynasty games are taking notes. So, so I, I kind of... I'm, I'm not going to rescind my review yet of, of Wild West, but I totally understand what they're going through now after last Tuesday and Gargle hopping in at the last minute uh, and us going over kind of some of the stipulations and stuff they had to work around. Uh, so while it is not going to be this ever because it's built on a totally different engine, uh, I have a lot more appreciation for the game, and I think it's going to build well. I just hate that it released so... Um, I hate that the release was so... I don't want to say botched because, again, um, it's not completely on them. Um, but it was a very poor release. So, you know... Uh, I think I think the game is going to be pretty good going forward, but Wild West is never going to be this. So, you know. Um, but yeah, I hope they're taking notes, and I hope a lot of the stuff they implement uh, from one to the other works out well, too. So. Is Deuce late? I'm shocked. Shut up, Gabe. Nobody's talking to you. <laughs> Nobody ask your opinion. I actually did ask your opinion, but yeah. Uh, and I'm always late. You guys know this. I'm always late. Just catching up on chat here. Village looks really good from above. It does, yeah. I'm actually kind of shocked. Speaking of DSLR, I should go change mine. My son has uh, his first baseball game of his senior year tonight. Will only be 33 degrees. Woo. Yeah, it's supposed to be cold here, man. Like the high today is like 51. The, high, the low is like 30. Uh, it's supposed to get down cold tonight. Pretty crazy. You get explosions, chopper sounds, that kind of stuff. But with that most everything, distance, footsteps, birds chirping, everything. Oh, that's crazy. That's pretty wild. You're good now. I'm doing well. Doing well. I uh, got a little bit done this morning. Got a little bit done. Not a, not a ton of stuff, but... 
Uh, I got some stuff done. You like the photo mode? You take a lot of pictures. Yeah, see? I think the photo mode was one of those very, very needed things. Like, I want to go over here, right? I want to put this photo mode to use. So we're going to go right here while these guys are picking stuff. And we're going to go photo mode, and we're going to go remove character, and we're going to do this, and we're going to do that. And then we're going to go over here. I mean, how hard was it to get a nice, clean picture like this before, right? Like, we could take all kinds of... Like, look at that. You can do, you can do all kinds of stuff now, right? Like... Like, look at this. Like, you can do, you can do all kinds of pictures. I'm trying to, I'm trying to get a view, like, of the back. There we go. Yeah, I mean, the pictures could be, could be extremely wild now. Like, I'm just taking screenshots of, of, like, people working and stuff, but. No more being, uh... hindered by the ability to take a screenshot. I mean, there is so much cool stuff going on that, that, that you could you could literally take screenshots for about anything. Uh, and I think it's fantastic. I think it's a great quality of life update, like I said. This one is well needed, I think, for the longest. Oh, I'm thinking I'm out of range here. To me, getting screenshots like you've never been able to get before is just a wild idea. Like, cause I never could have got this shot before, right? Like, never would have happened. Pretty dang crazy. You know, a game has worked out the gameplay when when a big update is an extensive photo mode. For sure, yeah. And I think that says a lot about how far Medieval Dynasty's come. Because, I mean, if you guys remember, when it released, there were a lot of people that were like, meh, I'm going to wait, you know? I'm going to wait. I don't, I don't want it yet. So, I mean, uh, I think this is a, a wonderful update, honestly. Like I'm just getting all kinds of screenshots here. This is this is phenomenal, really. Screenshots I never would have been uh, screenshots I never would it would have been able to get before. I'm just super excited about this one. This is a this is a really really good update. What's up, Jeremy? How's it going? Like you were dancing while you were walking on the fence? It was a little difficult to walk on the fence, yeah. Robert, how's it going? Anything you say, what do you mean? Oh, you mean anything, anything you say? Uh-huh. Yeah. Anything you say. Yeah, I read in the wrong context there. Um, I guess that was about the... Uh, the Atmos, Atmos surround sound. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely worth making, making stuff nice and pretty in it up now, right? Like, that's a really, really nice, good quality of life update there. Pretty wild, though. There were a lot of other fixes and stuff too. I just went through what was added and then kind of some of the updated stuff. There were a lot of fixes as well. If you guys want to read the whole thing, there's a link down to uh, link to the Steam page down below. You can go there and then check out the updates from there. Eighteen thousand uh, in coin right this second, which is pretty good. I know we're in the fall, but 
Uh, I want to check out this building um, update too, because you can do, what do we got, 70 buildings? We're going to have to break a building down. What can we break and then put back up pretty quickly? Definitely not a house. Can we do the whale? I think we could probably do the whale. Let's do the whale real quick. We've only got one person working there, so it probably won't hurt anything to do it. I saw, I saw something about moving um, the benches and stuff around, but maybe we can just put benches in the tavern now. I know before you couldn't put stuff on the um, on the tavern floor. Okay, let's build a well now. I, I knocked that out because I may have to move it slightly. Uh, production, yes, well, 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 well. Uh, let's see, services, services maybe? Market stall, builder's hut. What is it under? Hunting? No. Extraction? It had to be under extraction, right? A well, there we go. Yeah, I want to see what this single hit does here. Oh, yep, see. Uh, it's actually blocked by quite a bit. Hang on, we're going to take this one out too. Building. Extraction well. Okay. What are we blocked by? We're for blocked by the road now. Oh, I bet we are. Okay. I bet that's what it was. No, it's just blocked by all of this now. Okay, well, we'll take... We'll take all this out and do it again. Okay. Takes four logs to do the foundation. Boom. Alright, we need four logs. Boom. And then we need... Uh, eight straw and one log. Boom. Eight straw, one log back here. Boom. Uh, that is super, super simple. And I am I am extremely happy with that, honestly. Uh, I think that's another thing that probably, given the option, probably uh, a good option to have. To be quite honest with you. Uh, I think it's a great option to have. Be able to... Uh, Be able to do the one hit build. All right, can I make another lantern? I may not be able to. I can, okay. All right. Eight stone? Oh man. You guys remember how long it took just to build a stone fence before? Tell me that's not the best thing in this update right there. Other than photo mode. Photo mode's great, but... Oh, I'll put that lantern backwards. Dang it, man. I don't... See, I can't keep tearing this thing down. I'm not going to have enough stuff to put it back up. Uh, lantern... That's pretty close. We'll let it ride. Yeah, I put it down backwards. I didn't mean to. Uh, all right, let's see. Let's find the person that we fired. Profession. All the way to the top. Uh, what were you doing? Extraction? Crafting? You're doing hunting. And you don't have a job right now. Why don't you have a job right now? That's pretty weird. Found workspace. Do we have a, a hunting shed that she can go in? Uh, hunting, hunting lodge, two. Yes, we do, actually. Cool. Uh, a sound worker. Yes. Go. All right, then we go back up. We're going to put you back in extraction. It says crafting. Maybe, maybe water's considered crafting. Yeah, let's, let's put you back at the well. I'm pretty sure that's who is at the well. I could be 100% wrong, but I don't think so. All right, there we go. 
And then we'll tell the whale to craft. Go and then craft water. Okay, cool. Yeah, it's a great update. Imagine doing the Palisades now. Super quick. Yeah, super quick. Uh, matter of fact, we'll go build some just to just to see. Just to see. I want to kind of build some around our 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 house here. We'll see how it goes. Should go pretty quick. I got plenty of logs, so it shouldn't be an issue for that. I'm going to go straight down this row right here, I think. All the way to the row. True, what are you doing out here? What are you doing out here, True? Get back inside the gate. You know what? We'll go. We'll go here instead. Uh, let's see. Fences, palisade. I'm gonna go all the way down. Like. Right there. I'm gonna start curving this thing around. Should be a nice empty spot right out here. There we go. Palisades all the way around. Watch this. Boom. Oh, man. Oh, no. The whole thing's backwards, though. Ah, crap. No, it's not facing the right way. Always forget it doesn't. It doesn't. It, it doesn't tell you. It just kind of does things. To do it all over again. That's all right. Uh, we gotta. Yeah, you should always drag left. It seems. Every time I've ever drug right, it doesn't do right. Well, I say that, but I guess it really depends on what you're going for, right? <laughs> this is terrible. Made this whole thing and it's all backwards. Also, you guys remember having to do like sections, and then go back and then try to get connected again and then keep going. I told her to fill water skins? No, it didn't. I don't think so. Management, extraction, well. Water skins. Oh my god, I did. How? Wow, I told her to fill water skins. Yeah, I don't want water skins filled. I don't want, I want buckets filled. Buckets are much better. People can drink out of buckets. Also, uh, you can cook with buckets. Buckets of water is definitely better than water skin. Yeah, I swear I don't remember... I don't remember touching that. All right, there we go. That's done. Uh, let's get back to knocking this thing down and putting it back up again. Because, well, I, I know not what I do. Okay, I know not what I do. What a great update, though. Uh, I wish we could like shift click and destroy a whole line of stuff if we wanted to. Like that would be a great. That'd be a great addition. Uh, similar to. Um, uh, a Minecraft mod that is in some mod packs it's called excavate where you can like you can assign the key i usually assign it to control and have shift as my crouch button and then caps lock as my sprint button in minecraft but uh you can hold control while you're while you're destroying something like if i wanted to chop this tree down i just hold control and once it chops the first block it chops all of them like having a having an assigned button where i could select to do that i think would be awesome uh, i think that'd be great Fantastic, even. Uh, oh, also, uh, Martin reopened that membership for three months. Currently on a three-month streak. Thanks so much for reopening that membership. Keeps me doing what I'm doing. I appreciate you. Um, it is. It's what keeps me doing this, and know that it is well appreciated. Uh, also, real quick, uh, I didn't realize that because uh, I really didn't watch any content on it, but I saw Raptor play it. Um, 
patrol, police patrol, simu patrol something simulator, whatever it's called, police patrol something, uh, is basically papers please, but you're it's it's in first person, like you're actually running around doing the stuff. Uh, that is a really cool looking game, uh, and I just skipped right over it too. I was like, meh. <laughs> but it's a really, really cool looking game. All right, let's try this again. Let's build fence, palisade. We're going to start right here. Kind of work our way around this time. Yeah, now we're right. Now we're going the right way. Uh, matter of fact, let's try to round this off a bit more here. go contraband police that's the one yeah contraband police jeremy uh it looks really cool i clicked on raptor's channel he was playing it i was like what is he playing papers please for that game's like 20 years old now uh and it's not it just looks like it but in first person is so freaking cool yeah check this out man that's six logs at a time just bam 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 going in It's going to make building stuff so much faster. So much faster. You can turn this option on or off too. If you want to play the game completely vanilla, you can still do that. Uh, three day season, or three day, yeah, three day seasons, the whole nine. You can leave everything just like it is. You don't have to change anything. But I'm glad they give you the option to turn stuff like this on and off. It's such a cool feature. Like, I'm surprised, honestly, I didn't have to wait another month for it to pop back up. You can rotate it? What? I never knew that. I just always pulled from the different direction. How have I played this for two and a half straight years and not known that I could rotate fences? The same reason I don't know anything else, I guess, probably. That would be my guess. <laughs> it's, I don't know anything. God, this is so much faster building Palisades. I don't feel like I'm spending 10 years building now. This is great. Get out of my fence. I know it still seems like a lot, but that's this is really, really fast for this amount of Palisade. This is a lot of Palisade here. How do we have 31 people that are starving to death? What is going on? Hang on, we gotta go check on this. I don't know what's happening right now. Yeah, what is it called? Contraband Police Simulator? Yeah, it looks really cool. It looks like Papers, Please. But you've never played Papers, Please is a really Orwellian look uh, at life, to be honest. Yeah, they all have food and stuff. Oh, we got we got soured milk. We got milk. Yeah, we need to move all this and go make cheese. Our number one objective is to still make a thousand coin, a million coins. So we got to uh, gotta keep all this coming. Yeah, they have food and everything. What is going on here? What is happening? Maybe it's because they don't have water or something? No, they have water too. They have cheese, they have eggs. Oh, we could make some more scrambled eggs here. Take these. There we go. Yeah, we can make some more scrambled eggs. They, they have plenty of stuff here. What is what is happening? 35 people without food. Surely that's gotta be a mistake. That's gotta be a glitch or something. Right? That's a that's a that's a glitch. Some sort. During early access? Yeah, NAS for sure. I spent like three streams, I think, and I was streaming like um, two and a half, three, four hours sometimes. And I, I mean, it took me like three streams to build Palisades. It was wild how, how long it took. 91. I think I've only got 91 plates on me, probably. Yeah, this is definitely a cool update, Nass. The, the photo mode is fantastic. I mean, it is. It's probably the best of the updates. Uh, honestly, in my opinion, it's the best of all updates for this game so far. For quality of life stuff, of course. Uh, ma mainly because it's not just quality of life as in photo mode and, and one-click builds. Uh, th there's also optimizations and graphics and, and RAM usage and, and uh, system usage, that kind of stuff. 
There's a, NPCs. Like, there's a lot of um, there's a lot of updates in this update that is just brilliant. Honestly, it's just things that should that definitely should be done for sure. Uh, and I think it's a great update myself. Excuse me. Pardon me. Yeah, this is this is definitely one of the better quality of life updates. You can do all kinds of stuff with photo mode too, uh, as long as you're in range, of course. I can't I can't jump into free cam and fly across the map, but as long as I'm in an area, I can jump up and look and see what it looks like. Matter of fact, I mean, let's go to Gustovia and see what the the up, the the sky shot of it looks like. I think it's gonna look really cool. Okay, put some cheese up here. Got a few apples. We'll put them in there. Got some wine. We'll put in there. Uh, bitter mushroom. Put that in there. Got some cheese. Cheese. Is that cheese I smell? Yeah, I watched SpongeBob when I was like 15 and 16. So what? Scrambled eggs. Yeah, I think I probably just. Uh... Oh no, I used all the eggs. Okay. Oh, it takes more than one egg. That's right. Okay. I think there's eight more eggs in there already. Holy crap, man. Uh, we probably do need to take some food with us. Let's grab uh, a few bits of flatbread here, probably. These are no good. Let's take some of these. A few bits of food. We got some water on us, so we're good there. Inventory, water, bucket. One, two, three. Go ahead and eat that. Fill up. Get some, get some flatbread in us. Let's get out of here. I want to go to Gustovia and take a photo across the river maybe of Barrowo or maybe go across the uh maybe go across the river to Barrowo and take a photo of Gustovia. Either way, uh I think it would be really, really cool. Oh, I forgot I got Palisades up now. Yeah, that's a wild I mean that is a wild improvement. Uh so gates would be a good thing too. And they might already be in the game and I just missed it somewhere. Oh no they are in the game. That's right. Yeah you can build gates. I remember that was the end of season three, wasn't it? Wow, yeah, that was a long time ago. Gates are definitely in the game. You can build gates. Not build gates, build gates. Like, fence gates. Not not like Microsoft gates. Yeah. That got very confusing for, for some reason. Don't lie, you watched Spongebob yesterday. I haven't seen Spongebob in years, honestly, but... To be fair, that and Rocco's Modern Life were two of the most clever shows, I think, as as cartoons. Uh, they were both really, really clever shows. Very clever. Oh, also, I should mention, to do first person, you do have to be... I mean, to do uh, photo mode, you have to be in third person. You cannot be in first person, just so everybody knows. You do have to be in um, third person to do it. Cat Dog was a funny show, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Cat Dog was a funny show. All right, let's leave you there. Uh, let's just walk in the center town because we can remove our player, which is just fantastic. Let's walk in the middle of town here. Should give us a good, um, a good range around the town here. Yeah, something like here should be good. All right, photo mode. We want to hide. Let me go wide shot. Um, lens setting. I don't want to zoom. I don't really see a whole lot of difference here than de in default and prime f 2.8. Not really a whole lot going on there. 16 by 9 digital, 16 by 9. Yeah, the DSLR. That's the way to go. All right. I don't know if we can bring this back up or not once we once we do this because once we go into camera mode, we're just there. So we're gonna leave that. We're gonna do. Like that. Okay. Oh man, yeah. Look how good this looks from above. Like. Gustovia Town.
Trying to get a good uh good seat here. Taking some more screenshots. Oh, Q&E is up and down. Nice. Okay. I didn't even look to see that. There's so many really good shots here. I mean, there's just so much good stuff about this update. It's just so good. <laughs> uh, it is, it's just so good. It's so nice. Ren and Stimpy. Ren, Ren and Stimpy and Beavis and Butthead, of course. Mike Judge is just a, I mean, he's just a genius, honestly. Uh, it was crude, and he brought it back, too, which is even crazier. Uh, Beavis and Butthead is crude and out there and, and wild and... Uh, offensive, but it was in the most creative way possible, and I think that's what made it great. I think that's what made it great. What'd you, what'd you do, Jeremy? Oh, Jeremy gifted me Contraband Police. Now we're going to have to play it. I guess we'll play it tomorrow. I was looking for something to play tomorrow that we haven't done yet, so... Uh, I'm going to accept it, and I will get it installed later. Jeremy, thank you so very much. Guys, throw some hearts in, Jer in chat for Jeremy. Thank you, man. For the gifted uh, contraband police. I wasn't going to play it, but... Um, only because I didn't know how many times I would play it. And, and whether I have to I have to weigh, like, profit-loss margins here when I'm spending money on games. Uh, so I didn't know how much I would play it, but uh, thank you for gifting it to me. We'll definitely, we'll definitely play it. We'll definitely play it. Uh, I'm still working on videos for Hotel Renovator. Those are only going to be released on Saturdays on this channel, though. So, um, I'm not going to knock them out every day. Uh, I may do them where we uh, we go through like two, three rooms at a time and just try to get through some of the story. So, uh, let's see if we can get another... Let's go across over to, to Borrow, maybe. Where's it? Hornica would be a great one to go to and get, get photos of, I think. Uh, oh, also, while I'm here, I need to sell things, don't I? I do. We need to catch people before they go to bed. Uh, ah, ah, turn around. Do I have stuff to sell? I don't even know if I have anything to sell. We're going to try, though. Uh, let's go park the horse down here. Let's see if we can send somebody flying. Nope. Almost sent ourselves flying, though. All right. Let's sell some things. Uh, I forgot that's primary objective here is making money. Looks like most people are down on this end right now. Who's still up here? The tavern lady is still up here. Why are you still up here, tavern lady? How do you do? Berta. Trade is in my nature. I'm too. What do you know? Uh, beer bottle. We'll hold on to the beer bottle for now. Uh, flaxseed. I still got 1,900 flaxseed. We're going to go through that pretty quick, though, so... Probably have to start selling something different here. How do you do? Adelina... Let me show you my wares. Show them to me. I should have wheat, though, right? Wheat grain? Yeah, we still got some wheat grain. It was nice we don't have a ton, you. but we got some wheat grain. All right, let's run down this way, see if we can get these other two people. Is it two or three? I thought there were five people to sell to in this town. Maybe I am wrong. Greetings. Let me uh, show you my wares. Let me show you mine. How about that? Rye grain. What do I have? Do I have more oat grain? No, probably not. But yeah, I think it's going to be rye and wheat. We'll just sell wheat grain for now. Farewell. Farewell, then. Ah, you have trade is in my nature. Return. Take. Yeah. yeah, we are halfway there, guys. We're at 560,000. Uh, 563,000. That's pretty doggone good. I'm pretty happy about it. All right, we'll just head back to the house for now because it's getting dark anyway. And then we'll continue on tomorrow, I think. Actually, you know what? We'll go over to Barrowwood and so it's close enough. 
Close enough. Oh! Oh, God! Get up! <laughs> uh, that almost that almost worked. Uh, but yeah, the trick to photo mode is you have to be in third person and then you just escape and go to photo mode. Uh, I think it's such a great like when we had when we got the hot HUD button. I remember when we got the, the the ability to hide the HUD. When we got that, I was impressed. Um, the photo mode is definitely something I think a lot of really good screenshots going to come out of. Hey, oi, oi, you there? Hello. Hello. My wares never disappoint. Okay, that's, that's great. I just want to sell you some wheat grain. Have a good day. You too, man. She did not sound excited about that, did she? No. No, don't go to bed yet. Ah, crap. All right, I guess we'll come back tomorrow then. Uh, which will be winter time because we're back on one day seasons. Because I'm just trying to run through this as quickly as possible in seasons here. Um, eventually I do want to try to get married and have another heir and try to get two heirs in this, in this one, uh, series. I'd probably need to get married as soon as possible then, but, um, or maybe we do, maybe we do that for season five. Now that's, that was some, like, these are pretty major updates that are happening right now. Quality of life updates. This is fantastic. You can, you can disagree if you want, but to me, uh, the, the optimization for different performances, right? For RAM and, and graphics and all that kind of stuff. Major optimizations being made. I can tell. I can definitely tell they've optimized. For me, I'm, I'm running a solid 60. Where when I was running around like this on the horse wide open, I'd drop down to 30 sometimes. Uh, but these are some major optimizations that have been fantastic. Oh, you know what I want to do? How much limestone do I have? Limestone cowboy. Limestone. Oh, I got plenty. Okay, so I wanna I wanna try this and see if this build function works for upgrades. Take six limestone. Oh my goodness. Guys, check that out. Some dab up here. Got a dab on them. Oh, check that out. one hit upgrades to your buildings as well not just building oh man that's great stuff right there kind of creepy that you followed her inside her house just saying hey man i was just trying to make a sale before she went to bed that's all i was just trying to get a sale made you know like don't don't hate don't hate me i'm just trying to make a sale when i can here Be careful going across those bridges. Yeah, I really appreciate the contraband police. We'll play that tomorrow. That sounds like a lot of fun. But yeah, I remember playing Papers, Please. I don't know if I ever did any videos or anything on it, but I definitely played it. Um, and it was... It's quite eye-opening to what could be, you know, uh, if that makes sense. Quite eye-opening to what could be. Just running across the fields now. No big deal. We're fine. I really should be playing more than one-day seasons, though, uh, to try to maximize the amount of money that our our um, people can can make per day. Uh, cause I can only sell basically one day a season. I can make the whole loop of the map. So, but our people might be able to do more. Ida doesn't do sales. The chicken lady that does. Well, she had a little thing above her head. Uh, wintertime snowy weather. You gotta love it. You gotta love it. I think we'll put a road right across here too. I wasn't going to, but... I don't think I need the hammer, do I? Probably not. Yeah, let's put a road. Let's put a road to here. This makes way more sense. I know it's at an angle, and it kind of leaves like weird, weird spots, but uh, I think that's okay too. Let's go the same across here to that road. Sorry, I just constantly see stuff that needs to be sorted, and this is the best option: is just do it when I see it. 
Uh, also, this can probably be moved now. This is in the wrong place. Okay. Oh, we're freezing. Hang on. Clothes. It's okay. I have things. A long fur hood. We have thick leather gloves. And we have boots. That should be enough to keep us warm. Should be. Oh, also, we need to check for wheat and, uh, and uh, such. So we can try to thresh it and see. Uh, I think we've probably already sold it all. We're going to go double check anyway. Nothing in there. Fantastic. Hopefully there's some stuff in here for us. Let's see. How much other money did we make yesterday? 2,500 more coins? Alright. We're up to 56... Uh, 569,000... $145. That's a lot, guys. That's a lot. Uh, so we have flax stalks. We have flax seed. We still got a thousand flax seed, but we need a lot of flax, so we're leaving it in there. We got poppy. We got rye grain. We got lots of rye in here. Let's take out... 1,500... Wheat grain. We only got 610. That is not a lot. And we have no... Oh, we do have oat grain. Yeah, okay. Let's take out half the oat grain, too. Uh, what else do we have in here we can do? We got manure we can turn into fertilizer. And then we have... Uh, look at all these small pouches and stuff. Pouches, small pouches. That's good. That's really good, actually. One bottles wool. Well, look at all this wool. Look at all this wool thread. Oh my goodness. Okay. Uh, let's take these. Turn that into something. Do we have do we have any linen fabric or linen thread in here? We got plenty of linen fabric. Well, we don't have plenty. We got some. I'm going to take a lot of these logs out too because there's a lot of weight in here. Yeah, that took out 3,000 uh, kilos right there. 102 more limestone. Uh, or how much clay do we have? Probably something worth looking into. Play three. That's not a lot. It is being made into stuff, though. What about uh, copper? Let's see. Iron. Tin ore. We got 1,000 tin ore. We got 757 tin bars in there. That's a lot. Uh, where is the iron? 128 and 678. That's a lot, too. Uh, there's a lot of tin in here, though. Hang on. Tin bars. Let's take, like... 510 bars to sell as well. Cool. Uh, no coins just yet. That's okay. They'll they'll be making coin before long. Uh, let's go check the farm buildings here and double check. There's nothing in there. Uh, I need to go over my farms again too to make sure of what people actually have. Why are people still starving, guys? People are still starving. Does anybody know why that would be a thing? They shouldn't be because we have food. Unless I've done something wrong and broke something, which is likely. Uh, if they have food, they shouldn't be starving to death. Kind of makes me nervous a little bit, I'm not going to lie. Oats. 116 oats. They're doing, they're doing fine on oats, though. We'll leave it for now. What do I want to do, too? It's, uh... Do that. Make a little pathway around there. Looks fine. Do the same thing off this side. Goes to nowhere, but it's there now. At least it helps. Do I have anything to thresh? Don't. Okay. Uh, fertilizer. Make lots of fertilizer out of manure. What's up, Ethan? How's it going? If there's food in it, there was, yeah. Yeah, we checked it not long ago. Uh, we've got animal feed here. I can make some more animal feed, and we're going to need that at some point. I know it cuts into what I can uh, what I can sell, but animal feed comes first. I did, Ethan, yeah. And it looks pretty crazy, man. The, the uh, available upgrades and stuff is fantastic. Let me borrow this workstation for a minute. Thank you. Make flour. 
Yeah, I don't really need to make flour for anything, I don't think. Alright, let's go check the food pantry again. Then we'll drop this animal feed off uh, so that it can be had. Check the food. I mean, I'm going to check it again. I'm pretty sure there's food in here. I don't know why people can't get to it, though. Yeah, look at all this food. There's so much food in here. So much food. Like, it's just, it's full. It's absolutely full. It's crazy. Uh, I could probably sell some of these scrambled eggs, too. These aren't going to get eaten. I don't want anybody to eat them, to be fair. Uh, meat with gravy, we'll take those and sell them. Flatbreads, we'll sell all these. They're not going to sell for much, but at least we can sell them because nobody's going to eat them. So, uh, the cabbage we'll take, what was that, 500 and something? 54, it's 54 cabbage, right? 50, 54, yeah, it's 514, okay. We had 514 at 25%. We got 514 there. Do we have any meat? We don't have a lot of meat. We do have some meat, though. 71, okay. We'll let that ride for now. There's a rot in here we can turn into something. Yeah, we're going to sell a lot of this stuff. Let me grab... Uh, actually, you know what? We got two buckets of milk, two buckets of soured milk, so that should be good. Um, we do here with nothing with what I grabbed. Oh, I know what I was going to do. I was going to check the sea. Yeah, there's 50 people without food now. Everybody's got food and water in there. I'm not real sure what's happening. Uh, okay, so they're all good. Let's check the hunting lodge. The builder's hut. You're good. Actually, can I assign an apprentice? Let's assign an apprentice here. Uh, Hunter Beekeep. Yeah, you're good. God Zamira, take off. Uh, Hunter, Hunter's Lodge. We do have... Baldwina is an apprentice. Hungry. Everybody's hungry, guys. And I don't understand why. We're going to 20, 25% meat. Uh, and 50% leather. Let's flip this. Do 35% meat. All right. I'll give us some more meat. Like, all your coins went away? Oh, my God. I would I would be so depressed, honestly, if all my coins went away. But I've been I've been on the, the test branch pretty much the entire game, really. Yeah, I've pretty much always been on the test branch here. Make some cork and then we'll make some cheese. That'll give us some more stuff to sell. Yeah, I would I would probably just quit the game. Uh, I'd quit playing this. Honestly. Let's see. We got pottage. We got 228 bowls. I can only make 39 because I think I'm out of meat. I write all of my jokes in capitals. This one was written in Paris. What's up, Bone? How's it going, buddy? Hope you're doing well, sir. Yeah, we're out of meat. Okay. Noted. Uh, that's okay though. We'll go sell stuff anyway. Uh, I think we do the usual. We start up here in Rolnica and then make our way around. That is the wrong button. Here you are. Yeah, the game plays so much smoother after those optimizations. I mean, it's so much nicer now. And the photo mode really is just awesome. I want to do a photo shot. Uh, I'm probably going to come back through real quick and we'll do a photo of winter time. Um, of my village. I, you know what? Actually, we'll take one from up here. I think this would look really good. We took a, we took a, went into photo mode up here and took a, took a shot here. Oh, I'm hitting P. There we go. Uh, photo mode, hide character, we'll go wide shot, right? And then we did, uh, nope, wrong one. Yep. Uh, oh no, we want default. We want this one. No, we want that one. Digital film. No. DSLR. There we go. Okay.
Tell me you can't get some cool screenshots. I mean, that's... That's just fantastic right there. I probably skipped a little too quickly there, but... Um... What yeah. can I do for you? Yeah, I've some been really... A since before you could walk. Really cool screenshots. All right, I got a bunch of cabbage I want to sell you. Buy all those, thank you. I got some cheese. It was nice seeing you. Nice seeing you too, buddy. Nice seeing you too. Pick farm will get last. Wait, where is she at? Oh, she's in the next building up. Okay. The herbalist type. I was like, wait a minute, you're supposed to be in here. What can I do for you? Only goods of the high. I just want to sell you quality. stuff. Buy some cheese. Have some cheese. Uh copper sickle and get rid of that. Copper bolt, copper arrows I want to keep. Uh flat straw hat, I can get rid of that one. Flat bread. Let's get rid of all this stuff that's going bad here. We'll let them have it. Oh, out of money. Farewell. Okay. I'm doing well, buddy. Yeah, doing good. How have you been? Only goods of the highest yeah, quality. Flat bread. Flat bread. Uh, there was some more stuff we had that was spoiling, right? Food was. Uh, sell that one piece of meat. Meat with gravy. Yep. Uh, scrambled eggs are going bad. We'll sell as many of those if we can. Take care. Oh, a horse go. Kit, where did you go? Yeah, I like that shot looking down the hill. Snowing and, and very wintry look. Uh, I think that's a really cool screenshot. Lots of good screenshots, guys. Lots of good screenshots available. Not, maybe not for me, but for somebody. One of you is going to be taking some really nice screenshots, I think. Oh, okay. I was getting off the horse. I didn't mean like that, though. Should have went into photo mode right then. Hello there. Hello there. Uh, See you oh, soon. You're not who I want to talk to. Oh, you're next door. There you are. Ah, you have returned. I've been I have. I have before. returned. You could walk. Well, that's great. Buy some eggs. Have some breakfast. It's on me. Uh, and you, because you just paid for it. But yeah, whatever. You just bought it, but that's all right. 23. It was nice seeing you. Nice seeing you as well. Where is Rajmund? Did he die or something? Where'd you go, man? Oh, he's up here. He's got a quest for us. I'm not doing quests. I'm not taking quests today, sir. Sorry. Welcome. Let me show you my wares. Mm, flex stock, flex seed. Let's sell some more flax seed, I guess. It's only 125. Farewell. We got 77 people starving, and I don't know why. Um, we have plenty of firewood. We have plenty of food. Having a, having a major issue with that here. Kid, how did you even get over the fence? Did you fall too? 80 people now. Starving to death. If my people start dying, I'm going to be upset. This is not my fault. Yeah, the horse in Medieval Dynasty is a lot smoother than Wild West Dynasty, but the one in Wild West Dynasty handles better than Medieval Dynasty for sure. Is someone working in the kitchen making food? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I mean, the, all that food in there, that's all them. They're making it, not me. How have you been? I don't, I don't know why I'm, like, I've got so nature. many little notifications up there, too. It's like, people don't have recipes to make, but they do. Uh, and it's been like that for a while. This is not it's a new not development. The food thing is, but everything else is not. Um, the assignments, not new. It's been I've there. Been a vendor since before you could walk. And I'm pretty sure everybody's got assignments, too. Which makes it even weirder. That's what I'm saying. Like, none of this makes sense. For you. 
Farewell. Farewell, dude. 577. We're almost at the 600,000 mark. You should be good at taking photos as much farm sim would you play. You're good with crops. Aha! Uh -huh. I see what you did. Yeah, I don't I don't I don't understand. I don't understand why why everybody's starving. It's so crazy. Hello? How is life treating you? Best goods in the valley. Uh, how much wheat do I have? Plenty of wheat grain again. See you soon. See you soon. Uh, I think I'm I think I'm shorting myself on one crop to get the uh, um, cabbage in. I can't remember which crop it is. How have you been, Norbert? Let me show you my wares. No need, sir. I have wares of my own. It was nice seeing you. You as well, sir. You as well. Have a good one. Anybody else we can sell to here? I don't think so. I think it's just the animals. Yeah, the animals and the herbalist. The sheep and the herbalist. Like a bad movie. The sheep and the herbalist. Yeah, I've got somebody making food and everything. Like, I don't, I just don't understand. Hey, I'm Norbert too. I'm not making fun of the name by any means. God, no. Oh no. Who am I to make fun of anybody's name? My name is Bubba. I ain't got no room to make fun of people. Oh man. Oh, it's just funny seeing it because it's uh, uncommon in most parts. That's true, yeah. Nor Norbert's a, a very uncommon name uh, my around here anyway. Never disappoint. Not everywhere, just around my parts. Around these parts. Goodbye. Goodbye, thank you. Thank you for your patronage. Uh, let's see. One down here. That should be it. Oh, that's right. Yeah, it's just these two. Yeah, I was thinking the the other. Yeah, I was talking to the wrong person trying to sell stuff. Wasn't I? What yeah. can I do? You're for right. You? You're I've right. I've been a vendor since before you could walk. I do not care. Like I honestly do not care, sir. I really don't care. Take care. Thank you for your two thousand coins. Appreciate that. <gasps> It's very common in the south in general, yeah. What's funny though is most people's names... It's a nickname, right? From siblings or whatever. Uh, I don't have any younger siblings, though. So my dad just thought it was funny. I mean, there's a movie called Norbert, right? With, um... Oh, what's his name? Uh... I can't think of his name. There's a movie called Norbert, though. I'm almost 100% sure. Good it is hilarious, too. Trade is in my nature. Farewell. Eddie Murphy. That's it. Yep, Eddie Murphy. It's a hilarious movie. I don't know if I'd what let the young ones watch you? it, but only goods of the uh, highest quality. Farewell. Farewell, sir. Yeah, this is so much smoother. I know. I know that I'm saying that, but if you really consider the fact that the amount of optimization Greetings. they put in this update, I've been a vendor since before you could walk. It's really, really good. Like it's really nice. Farewell. Anybody else here I'm missing? No, just you. 
Eddie Murphy. How do you do? Trade was Norbert. In my nature. Farewell. Almost to 600k. Oh man, I cannot wait to be done with this one. Ugh. I need to go. I need to go right. I'm trying to go right. There we go. Come on. Come on. Turn. Turn. There we go. Sheesh. Sometimes that gets a bit hectic. Their workload is too high? What? They only work like six hours a day as it is? So because I've got them all at 100%, their workload's too high? That's pretty crazy. Like I never, never would have guessed that, honestly. Never. something a little different here oh I'm at the edge no, I'm at the edge of my range there. That's all right. I don't want to take it for that. We'll go back up here and take it. Yeah. Like it. Tons of photos. Tons of photos. Yeah, it's weird though that it would be their workload. Like, if we could set their schedules and I was making them work, you know, like all kinds of crazy hours or something, I could see that. But they're literally working like six, seven hours a day. What is what is happening here? What is, what is going on? Why is, my, why is my head way over there? My horse is here. That's so weird. Okay. Well, I see what was happening now. That was weird. <laughs> hey, Lori, my weekend was good. Uh, I sat around and basically did nothing yesterday and uh, Saturday, so it was nice. Just kind of hanging out, watching TV with the family. Played around the computer a little bit on Saturday. Didn't do a whole lot, though. Hope yours as well, too. I have no idea where I'm at right now, I'm not gonna lie. No clue. Oh, never mind. There's a sign there. Wait, where in the world am I at right now? Oh wow, I'm way over here. I did not mean to come around this far side. I don't think I've ever actually been up this path though. I mean, other than looking for the mine, like very early on here. Oh, is that the cave? Oh, this is the cave. Yeah, okay, never mind. I have been around here. We've been we've been up there till we got kicked out too, I think.
And that photo mode is going to make for some great thumbnails for people, aren't it? I mean, that's... Uh, isn't it? Aren't it? Aren't they? I was, I was thinking, like, people are going to have some great, uh, thumbnails, aren't they? Combined it with, like, two different statements. Really strange. <laughs> like, I've just lost train of thought today. Completely. Go sell all that we can sell in town here. Excuse me. Pardon me, coming through. Start right here. What can I do for you? Woo. Trade is in my nature. Right in my face there, huh? Animal feed. Yeah, there we go. Take care. Boy, he like he was hard to swallow that cell. How huh? can I help you? My wares never disappoint. Rye grain. Goodbye. 720. Wow, you got a lot of coins. 2,800 coins. All right. Currently, the villagers are not good at prioritizing uh, their own needs over other jobs. So if they have too much to do, they might end up working in a mine instead of eating. Oh. Only goods of the earth. So basically, quality. don't you can't put them to 100% anymore, which is why have it, you know? I feel like that's a, a horrible update to the balancing because it, it used to not nice be that way. Uh, that's a detrimental update to the balancing of the game, in my opinion. How is life treating you? Best goods in the valley. Not not really the greatest idea. All right, so last See of the soon. rag grain we're gonna sell. Welcome. Trade is in my nature. Trade is in my nature. Uh, sell. 200. You Farewell. didn't have a whole lot of money. That's good. It's snowing and cold. This guy's like, I'm what staying can inside. I do for you? Trade is in my nature. Probably a smart idea. 135. All right. That's all the wheat grain we're going to sell. Uh, we might be getting low on stuff to sell here. I do have nearly 9,000 logs. Let's see what else I got here. Copper bars sell really well. Beer bottles sell for 35. Wow, that's crazy. Plum tree seeds sell for uh, 128. That's pretty good too. We could probably make make the other two stops and we'll just sell some Thank of the more you. obscure things we have, I guess. That'll make our whole loop for the day to make us thirty or forty thousand, depending. Fourteen hundred fur, yeah, see we got a lot of stuff there. You're gonna plant more probably, but I can sell the ones I have, it's not a big deal. After I get the million coins, I really I can just go buy saplings. <laughs> I just want the achievement. I just want the achievement first. That's why you should be careful about building mines that are too far away. Well, the only mine that I have operational right now is right next to the village that people are living. Like they're living right outside the mine and working at that mine. Uh, I set that up purposely because I knew I was gonna have to practice for Sengoku Dynasty at some point because that is definitely the way Sengoku is gonna be set up. Uh, we've seen that in the devlogs, so. They won't fill up their stats before going on a long hike. Okay. That means if, if you have villagers working a very long way away, you're definitely putting yourself... But I don't have 86 people working that far away, though. That's that's kind of silly. That's a lot. I feel like it might be a little a little bit um, skewed uh, for, for the villagers now because most of my people are working close to where they live. Uh, pretty much all of them, really. They're not having to walk that far away. 
So it's kind of weird that I have 86 people that don't want to eat. Even when I started this series, though, like, I built houses, um... Oh, the bears are back. That's good, I guess. Um... I built houses very close to the, uh, mines that I put them in. Like, even my vendors that I have kind of separated, they have houses... Uh, next to the vendor stalls and the excavation sheds have they live in those houses right there, too So like everybody is still pretty close um, Which is kind of weird. That's the reason I think it's kind of odd that that I'm having I have 86 people that have no food Which is wild Like I, I don't I really don't understand how that happened You read the rest, it says... Hello there. Hello there. Uh, you have them at 100%, it can overtax them? Really? Only the best products here. Okay then, yeah, we're gonna take everybody off of that then. All right, so we got cherry tree seedlings we can sell. You've only got a thousand coins, so it shouldn't take much to get through this. Bronze sickle. Um, I could sell some of this stuff, but I don't keep it, honestly. Oh, the bows we can sell. We're using a recurve bow, so we can sell those. 376 left. I don't need the cap, if you're wondering. Uh, 1,400 fur we can sell, yeah. There we go. Goodbye. Goodbye. How have you been? I have Let been well, thank you. My uh, oh, yeah, we can sell some more fur. Not gonna hurt anything to sell nice the fur. Seeing you. Hey, where's this last guy at? How have you been? I've, I've been, been well, Mr. Fisherman. You could walk. I do have another iron crossbow I can get rid of. I say that as I'm hitting sale. Uh, iron pickaxe, iron shovels. Oh, I've got linen, linen thread, linen fur. I forgot about that. I've got all this wool on me. I meant to sell too. Yeah, the wool sells pretty good. Nine, nine uh, point six, but the wool fabric and wool thread sell even better. Farewell. Uh, when we get to Lesnica, we'll sell those if we make it in time. We may not make it in time. I might have messed around a little bit too much today. We've only got one stop left, though. Hopefully, we can make it. We've only got three people to sell to there. If we can get to at least one of them, we're good. Do it for a short time is okay, but not for a long time. So I need to back everybody down then is what you're saying. Wow, that's going to take some effort. Uh, I may have to do that when I get finished. Uh, between now and next Monday, maybe. Yeah, that's a lot. I mean, we're talking about like a hundred and something people to go through and, and back everybody down. Each business back everybody down some. Or not even businesses, just each activity. Back everybody, everybody down to like 85% or something. That's pretty crazy, honestly. Like, I didn't know that even got implemented. I haven't read the patch notes in a while, so I probably missed it in one of the updates. Because I don't remember that. I don't remember that being a thing originally. Not at all. Be welcome, stranger. See you soon. What can I do for you? Trade is in my nature. I need you to buy a few things from me. That'd be great, thanks. Uh, what was I selling a minute ago? Fur? I think I was selling fur. Yeah, that's what it was. Long fur hood. I'm wearing that. I don't want to sell that thing. Fur. 
She's got 1,100 coin. Nice. It was nice seeing you. You as well. Looks like they've already retired for the evening. What can I do for you? Only goods of the highest quality. What leather do I have? 327. That's not a lot. I thought I had more than that. Eleven hundred coins. It was nice seeing you. <laughs> How you have you been? Trade is in my nature. Oh, hang on. Got some hop plants we can sell. Two hundred each. Okay. Uh, and then, and then, uh, plum tree seedling. Sell all three of those, and you still got money left over. Um. Boop, 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 boop. I don't know what to sell next. But I've still got stuff, but I don't have like I just don't have tons of it anymore. Oh, we sell the wool. Let's go. Like we broke the six hundred thousand mark. We broke the six hundred thousand mark. We're ever so closer. No and then All right, that's it. That's our rounds for the day. We made it all the way around the map again and sold everything. Oh, I forgot I sell all this junk that I picked up too, couldn't I? Probably. Is that a bow? It is. I'll take that. 87% too. Very nice. You know, I never wonder what happened to these, uh, what happened to the people pulling those wagons, but it's obvious they're not around anymore. Oh boy. Woo! Did you guys hear that? Arrow come flying by. Hey, the kid beating on the counter. I think she's trying to make uh, some hash browns. What about those shredded frozen hash browns? And uh, they all froze together. Pretty sure you just shot it. How did you take two of those? That one got close. That one did two. Gotta go. There we go. Dynasty reputation plus thirty one. Nice. Taking out bandits, always a good thing, right? We gotta loot that guy back up there too. I get my. I realize I was almost out of water here. Okay. Can I get my bolt back. Probably not. Oh boy. Recurve bow. Look at that. Yeah, right in your face. Lots of good stuff here. This is really nice. I like the I like that they changed them to the so they block the, the bridges and stuff. They block your path. Uh, I think that's much more realistic. They'd be trying to rob people crossing the water and stuff. That's great. Kids out of school day? Yep, spring break. Cheese, onion. I'll take them both. You go, horse. Also, are there any more arrows floating around? Did you guys see what I did to this guy too, by the way? Um, I uh, I ducked down behind him, and he actually had an arrow sticking out of his back, which is really funny. I don't think I'm able to get that iron bolt back there, which is that's sad. Iron bolts are good. Very good. Have another week until then. Not here. Well, I mean... Again, today today's high for us is like 52. The low is like 30. Yeah, technically, it's definitely not spring, but it technically is spring, I guess. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I don't know who decides these things. I'm going to be honest. I have no idea.
to be fair, Crystal, realistically, I could sell everything in my inventory and be okay with it. Um, but uh, having to go back and forth to Kit's saddlebag, and, and Kit can only carry so much as well, I think would actually make it harder to keep up with, really. Here's on spring break, too? Yeah. Yeah, see? I don't know who decides these things, man. I have no idea. <laughs> I'm just I'm just here. I'm just along for the ride. Look at all those cabbage seeds. Heck, yeah. Uh, fertilizer. We got... Probably need more fertilizer in here. I did take out a lot of the logs earlier, so... Probably need more of that. 5,000 coins. Not bad. Not bad. Considering I think we picked up like 2,000 this morning already. Made about 7,000. Yeah, we're going to have to go through, I guess, and just set everybody to uh, like 80% on all these businesses. I hate to do it, but I don't know how else to get them to eat because we have food. Let's let's get in the house here where we can get, uh, get warm. I could, can I put can I put anything in here yet? Let me try. No, oh, they still won't let you build in the house with with tables and stuff. We really I really want to be able to build in the house with tables and such. Um, I was gonna I was gonna build me a seat and then sit on it and take a screenshot of me standing in the or sitting on the the seat inside the house here. I think that would be pretty neat. All right, let's do some management. Dang it! Yeah, they all have food. Look at this, man. Everybody's mood is just going. 7% mood right there, seriously. Minus 5 on Bagna. Minus 1 on Do... Uh, Do... Do... Dabrawa? Dab Dabrawa? I guess how you say it? I'm not trying to mispronounce it. I'm just terrible at names. Hey, look at this. Everybody's starving to death. Minus 8% on Scabamira. That's crazy. Okay. Well, I guess we better get to it then, huh? Uh, I, I, this is the only thing I can do, then this is what we're going to do. We're going to run everybody down to 80% and see if that helps any. It might not. That's a lot of this. But I feel like it's got to be done. I feel like we don't have a choice. I'm just going to run hers down to whatever that ends up being. Seventy. We drop down to eight percent on each of these, I guess. Should be right. I don't know how many are there. Yeah. Then I'm there. Okay. Mine. Okay, the well. Up that down to 80%. Yeah, I don't know what else to do. I, mean, I guess just do this and hope this helps. No tools in the woodshed. Oh, that's not good. How do we not have tools in the woodshed? There's stuff in the... I think, I think the connection between the two are broken. I think that's probably what's going on here. Yeah, because I've got, um, I've got tools for the hunters and stuff in there. Like, they should be, they should be all good. It's weird that it's saying no tools when we definitely have tools in there for them. No worker. We have a worker in the honeycomb in the in the apiary. What? Did she die or quit? Holy crap, man. Yeah, this is getting this is getting bad here. I should have looked at this a long time ago. 
I don't I don't know what's happening right now. So this definitely turned into a city builder. Kind of all at once here. That's much more indicative of city builder when you have uh, workload management as well. Not just percent management, but workload management. Yeah, this is this is crazy right here. Table, okay, production wise, what do we got? Kitchen. No resources. Yep, that makes sense. It almost seems like it almost seems like that they just don't have they're not connecting to the um the resource storage or the Food storage. That's what it seems like here. To me, anyway. I could be wrong, but that's what it seems like. Yeah, see, no resources? I know for a fact we have resources. This is pretty strange. Yeah, this is pretty strange. I just realized I didn't do that today either. Food stalls. It almost, yeah, it really does seem like the connection between the two is just broken. Sorry, I'm I'm concentrating pretty hard on this because I'm trying to figure out what's going on uh, in my mind over and over again here thinking about this. But I really can't I, I can't come up with a good good reason why I would be doing this because I've got resource storage close to everything, right? Even the even the these guys, the food stalls that are down the road over there. I've got a resource storage next to them. I've got one next to mine. I've got one next to the the. The main the main village area here. So everybody should have access to that. Everybody should have access to food because everybody's got a food storage nearby. Um, pretty much everybody's houses are right next to where they work, so that shouldn't be an issue. But it seems to be. I, I just I don't understand. <laughs> I really don't understand. Uh, we're selling bronze hammers. Let's drop those down and sell bags or something. I know they're not going to sell as well, but um, I don't think. Probably not, but that's all right. Up we go. 80%. Okay. And I think that's it. Yeah, I think that's, I think that's all of it. And I know I said I was going to do it. Uh, while I wasn't streaming, but we were already moving there, so why not? All right, houses. Everybody's hungry, but nobody should be hungry. All right, the woodshed has no tools, which is very strange. Let's sleep and see what happens. The storages are fine. There's, there's room in the storages. Uh, let's do... Let's do an empty save here. Season 4 2. That'll be my backup save for this, just in case something weird happens and everybody dies or leaves or something. Hey, Texas. Of course. 46. $4,600 in taxes due. I'm about to drop my taxes completely so I don't have to pay that every time. Drop it down a lot. Gotta head out. All right, man, no problem. Have a good day, buddy. 
Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what's happening. Everybody's still hungry, but yet everybody has food. I swear there's something broken with the with the linking here, because I've got a food storage right next to all the houses, right here. Isn't there a way to tell them not to eat things? Isn't that a thing? I don't remember what that's under, but I remember that being a thing. I don't remember how to find it. Does anybody know where we tell them not to eat stuff? Is it here? Yeah, here we go. Pottage. Cabbage they can't eat. Carrots. Eggs they can't eat. Can they eat scrambled eggs? You know what? Maybe this is the problem. Maybe it's just marked off and they don't have any food. This might actually be the problem right here. They can only drink from buckets of water. That's fine. Wood items. They can only use firewood and logs, which is fine. I bet this is it right here. I bet this is why. I had it marked off and didn't even didn't even remember doing it. Yeah, all that time I'm trying to figure out what's going on. This was it. Yeah, they can eat all this. I don't I don't care because we have plenty of it. We have plenty of it. I don't want them drinking like the milk and stuff, but yeah, that was the issue right there. I was wondering why all this stuff was spoiling. I was like, what is going on here? Yeah, that makes total sense. That makes total sense now. I don't want them eating raw fish meat either. That just seems weird. I don't eat raw pike either. Yeah, honeycombs. They could probably eat honeycomb as well, but they would eat a lot more honeycomb because it barely does anything for them. No raw meat, no raw perch. No. Oh, wait a minute. That means they can use it, right? Consumable. Yeah, whatever. We'll leave that. That's fine. Yeah, there we go. Okay. That's all it was is I had the... Uh, I had pottage checked, but they're not making a whole lot of pottage anymore. I was starving them, yeah. Uh, that makes total sense now. Now everybody's good, see? There we go. Uh, I need to get some tools for the woodshed, was that right? Check this real quick. Uh, no tools, yeah, okay. Alright, sorry. Pardon me. Let's go see what the issue here is, because I know that I've got... I had tools over here anyway. I know they didn't go through that many that quick. I'll say I know. I don't think they did. They might have. Let's see. Iron pickaxe? Maybe they did. Holy crap. All right. Uh, I've got a bunch of iron axes on me. I'll drop those in there for them. Did I accidentally pull those out or something? Because I swear I don't remember people being out of tools. Like that anyway. All right. Well, there we go. Now I can crank the work back up. Yay. All that, all that work, all that work to tone everybody down. All that work to tone everybody down. Uh, I think I'll crank the work back up, but I'll do that later. Uh, wow, I just, I can't believe the only thing I had selected was pottage, and I forgot that we haven't been making pottage, we've been making flatbread, and I've been making pottage myself, uh, and just didn't even consider it, but yeah. Also, I wonder what I had in my inventory that spoiled overnight, probably a bunch, food-wise. Thing, paying taxes. Let's see. Uh, yeah, the cheese at nine nine percent. Cherry wine. Where did I get cherry wine? I must have picked that up off one of the uh, one of the guys. That onions at thirty percent. We'll go ahead and keep it. I've got pottage in here. I didn't realize I had pottage in there. Uh, lots of rot, which is fine. We got salted meat in here. We'll put in there for them. They're not going to eat it though. It's going to sit there. Uh, how much meat do we have in here now? 21 to 151. That's good. Okay. Yeah, that we can work with. They should be eating scrambled eggs now, which we don't have to sell. And we're making plenty of eggs. I can just take those and and, and uh, make them myself. That's not a big deal. Yeah, so now we're good. Now we're good. Now they should be eating all the food. They're not drinking the wines. They're not drinking anything we're selling. They're eating flatbread and cheese, which we are selling, but that's okay too. I'm not even mad about that, really. Oh, let me check the eggs. I can make more scrambled eggs if there's more in there.
Yeah, give me some variety in the eggs. I want to make like some. Oh, we got a uh, bucket of milk and soured milk. There go eggs. Yep, lots of eggs in here. Okay. Away we go. Yeah, we were just starving our people. We still got 16 people without assignments, which I find I find really hard to believe. Uh, it looks like four people without tools still, which is really hard to believe. Uh, I don't I don't believe there's that many people without tools. What is this building down here? What is this for? Food storage. Oh, we put a food storage on this end too. Wait, does that say nothing? No, okay. Okay. I forgot this was down here. I've been doing this the hard way. I've been running back up top and forgetting to put stuff in there. I forgot this was down here. 57 more pottage for people. How do you tell if the Gr Grim Reaper is dead? How's that? How do you tell? Thirty-two more eggs. I probably need some more plates or more bowls or something probably for this. I'm not a hundred percent sure, but nope. Any buckets of milk? Yep, we got bowls. Okay, like ten more cheese anyway. Oh, we got enough to make one meat with gravy. Uh, I'm not doing carrots, so none of that. Not picking mushrooms, which we probably should be, because I feel like this would do pretty well, but... Uh, if we had salted meat, we could do some more. We got lots of cabbage. We need way more meat. Way more meat. Let's drop all this here because I keep forgetting this is right here next to me when I leave there. Uh, apples. Yes. Cabbage. Yes. Cheese. Yes. Eggs. Yes. Meat. Uh, I think I put a bucket of water in there. Meat. Meat with gravy. Onions. Pottage. Pork. And roasted meat. Scrambled eggs. There we go. Now they should have plenty of food. I just gotta figure out why, the, why I have 16 people without assignments. Because that's what that is, right? That's 16 people without assignments. Which I find very odd as well. Right, everybody's happiness is going back up now. Jeez, that was close. Like, just overnight, we went from, like, negatives back into the positives. I cannot believe I'm that silly, honestly. Alright, so, water items. They can use a bucket of water. That is it, though. Pottage. Uh, so that's good. Okay, I'm happy with that option, actually. All right, and then wood items. We can use firewood, sticks. We can use logs. We can use firewood. Okay. Uh, that's it. All right. Uh, so that's all good. Let's go down here to the building, uh, builder's hut real quick. Go. Make sure we get all that repaired. Uh, food stall. I gotta go through every one of these and find out who doesn't have an assignment and why. Because that's a problem, it seems like. Is this an assignment or is this tools? What does this mean? Crap. No resources for the herbalist. The craft stuff, right? Yeah, so you're fine. You're working on things. You just don't have berries to, to do your thing with that. Okay. Got it. Everybody else is good here, right? These houses need to be repaired. Got it. Okay. That should be all for the houses, too. All right, then the extraction is that one. That one's taken care of because they have resources still. They just don't have what they need for one specific thing. Uh, for the barn, they're still working on stuff. They just don't have wheat, oat, or rye grain uh, or stuff to... Um, and they have fertilizer they can make, too. So they're good. So that, that one's negated. So that's number two that we found that doesn't need to be worried about. Uh, this one, food stall, no resources. Yeah, you don't have any raw beer. Uh, let's take this off so you can actually start making us some money. Uh, 
And we're going to put this straight up on honeycomb, I think. And we'll just sell honeycomb on its own. Probably not the best use of our time, but. Oh, they might be kids old enough to work as an apprentice. That's true. I did not consider that. That is very true. Uh, if that's the case. Let's put them to work at the f um, the stalls here. Because that's where we're making the bulk of our money. I know us running around is making thirty or 40000 but it's nice to have passive income here. Somebody with high diplomacy, preferably. Okay, that'll do for that. Go back up to um, the kitchen. If we got somebody in the crafty, yeah, see this one right here. Okay, and then the workshop, maybe? Maybe the smithy? Yeah, crafting. Crafting is a three. Farming is a seven. Let's do. Let's do get them doing something farming here. Uh, farm shed. Yes. Oh nope. Already got one in there. There we go. Okay, let's see if that took care of it. That might have taken care of a bunch of them actually. That took care of uh four. Off to the side, we still have fifteen things that aren't being satisfied for some reason. I think a lot of it has to do with. Uh, this says no resources, but we actually are still working on stuff, and I think that's a lot of it right there. I think that's what all that is. Because uh, we still have resources. They're still working. They just have very little resources for everything. They don't have resources for all of it, I guess I should say. Yeah, see, they're still working on stuff, and I think that's most of our issue right now. I don't think it's that nothing is being done. I think it's just it's it's putting all the stuff together or whatever. That should take care of pretty much all of it, really. Honestly. Now it says 16. We just had 15, though. Yeah, pretty much everybody. Oh, we still have people not. We have people not working now. What is this? Hang on now. Uh, what are you doing? Where do you live? What are you good at extraction? Where do you live? Down there. Oh, I wonder if you were in the extraction shed, maybe. Maybe, yeah, maybe this is what's going on here. All right, you live, you live down there as well. And you were doing what? Diplomacy. You were working in the stall, I think. Let's see if I have an empty stall then. I do not. I took hers down. That's what it was. All right, we'll put you in the, I know you're not going to like this, but put you in there. I'm not going to like that at all. Uh, Radamira, where do you live? You live down there too. And you were a 10 in diplomacy as well. Well, that's terrible. I'm out of building, so I can't build anything else. Do I even have a job down there for you? I don't think I do. I don't think I have a job at all for you, really. I'll have the apiary that's open. Surely, surely whoever is in that can come back to that, though. Uh, the mine. I don't want to put you in the mine. That seems, seems bad. Stable. I could put you in the stable. It's not that far away. Let me put you in there with uh, with True because I don't have another job for you, honestly, at the moment. All right, I think that's everybody. I probably should have put her in whatever was empty there that we looked at. What was it? What was it? The apiary. Yeah. All right, that should solve some of that issue, but I think those 16 up there are literally just things that we're, we're just out of stock on a lot of stuff, uh, but they're still working, so I don't think that's a big, big problem at all. Photo mode. Oh, 
Gotta be in third person. Photo mode. Uh, get rid of that guy. Let's do this. Right, and then go here. Yeah, look at that. Looks so good. Actually, let's do that. Let's do just a regular film. Tell me photo mode is not the best thing in the world right now. Check that out. I mean, how can you be mad at this? How can you be mad at photo mode? So cool. So cool. Yeah, I don't I don't know what's going on. Now there's 18. I'm pretty sure those are just things that are um that are broken, right? Like production here, for instance, right? It says it says uh materials, no resources. But we're still working on stuff, so that's just one. If we count all these up, it'll probably be 16. I'm going to say that's probably what it is. I'm going to say that we're actually good. Uh, also, I need to replace these standing torches with the lanterns at some point to make this place look a little better. Um, but yeah, now we've got people working the apiary, so we're good there. we got apprentices at the stalls. I think that should be fine. Can't wait to try out photo mode. I'm looking forward to actually flipping through and finding some screenshots because, again, there are lots of villages way better than mine, so... Uh, I'm truly looking forward to seeing what everybody's come up with on their stuff. Coins, 536 already. Good stuff. It's good stuff. Uh, but that is going to do it for today. I appreciate you guys for being here and hanging out with me as always. I appreciate you. Thank you for choosing to spend your time watching this video or hanging out in the stream. Uh, I did not expect to find that issue today, but I'm glad we got it solved. Uh, and we know that the little thing in the top left now is just them being short on resources but they have resources for other things so uh, we got all that sorted i'm just gonna have to go back through and tell everybody to go back to work 100 percent now because we need everybody at 100 percent if we're gonna hit this million coins which we are currently at i'll find it here somewhere inventory there we go we're currently at 613,000. we're getting ever closer to that million when i first started out and we were at like 150,000, i didn't think it was possible but uh we're getting there uh, so next time, we'll be running around selling some more stuff and probably taking some more screenshots because there's still lots of places I haven't checked out yet. Uh, and springtime looks a lot different. Summertime looks a lot different. So taking screenshots in the winter is cool, but uh, I want to get some screenshots next Monday in the springtime as we run around and do our thing. I appreciate you guys for being here. I'll be over on Twitch in about an hour. I'll probably start uh, a little earlier than I typically do, which is the actual time on the schedule for Twitch is uh, 4 p.m. Eastern. Uh, so I'll probably start about on time, hopefully today anyway. I appreciate you guys for being here, and I'll see you all next time. Great morning, afternoon, night, wherever you are. Later, folks. <laughs>